We have begun to this work. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? What do you do in the morning when you wake up before you go to school? Brush your teeth. Hopefully all of you brush your teeth. What happens to your teeth if you don't brush them? You have cavities and they, what else? They fall out, they start to hurt, all that stuff. What else do you do in the morning before you go to school? Eat breakfast. A good, healthy, bacon eggs, Nutella sandwich, whatever you're going to have. Who likes Nutella? Alright. Once you get a little bit older, the first thing you do is you have your coffee because if you don't have coffee, you can't communicate with people. I know, I'm one of them. What else do you do in the morning before you go to school? You pray, hopefully. You guys say your prayers, okay? What's one of the prayers or what, what one thing you can say in your prayer in the morning? Thank you for a beautiful day. Good girl. Okay? Thank you who? God. Thank you, God, for another beautiful day. Even if it's rainy, even if it's cold, right? Even if you have to go to school. Oh. But we can thank God for another beautiful day because there are people out there who are not going to have this day. So we're thankful. What else do you do in the morning besides pray, eat breakfast, brush your teeth? What else? Get your backpack in your seat. Good. So you guys are now dressed and say that. What else do you do? Get changed. Okay? So you get changed, you brush your teeth, you eat, you get your backpack ready, and most importantly, you say thank you for another day. You pray. So we do things that we are, we do things to get ready for our day. All the time. Every day we do that. And hopefully, this is something that you do every day is pray. Even on a Saturday when there's no school, even on a Sunday when there's no school but there's church, you can say thank you God. So it's important that we have something that we do to prepare ourselves. Today, even though we've had two weeks of Sunday school, because of the way it worked, today we're going to do something to begin our new year. Okay, our new school year, and that is how we are going to pray for a blessing. Okay? We're going to pray for a blessing for the Sunday school and for all the people, but especially for you. What do you think we can pray for in the Sunday school as a blessing for you? What do you think? For your sorry? Thank you for it, ma'am. Okay, because none of you live around the corner. I know where you live. You live far. So for you to get here, thank you for my family so that you can, my family can bring me to Sunday school. What else can we pray for in Sunday school and in school in general? Food, okay, so we have food, what else? In Sunday school. Pray for everyone, good. So we learn to pray for everyone too in Sunday school. What else do we do in school? What are we doing in school? We are <coughs> learning. What else are we doing? Who teaches you? Teachers. So we can pray for our teachers. So our teachers are good and happy and are healthy so they can come and teach you, correct? Yeah. So these are some of the things that you are we're going to pray today for you to learn, for you to have your family's health so they can bring you. So your families are happy with what you're learning, so they keep bringing you. For our teachers, for you to be healthy. For you to have a good, what's in your head? A good brain so you can all learn, right? It's so important that we ask God for help on these things, especially as we are beginning something new. And so we're going to do an eye as well, which is a blessing in water. Thank you. Now, why don't we just pray? And say, Lord, help our Sunday school students. And why are we going to do this whole thing with water? Does anybody remember last year? Why we said? We asked God to come down and he's going to bless this water. And we're going to say, Lord, bless this water. And then we're going to spray it all over everybody. Okay? Why do you think we do that? Because we can 
blessings. Okay, so when you're blessed, you have the Holy Spirit with you, yes, but now, when, you, when we pray that it goes into the water, and then it touches us, can you feel it? It's important that we realize that God can touch things, and then they can touch us. And so we have this Hayas Hall, okay, where we bless the water, and we're going to spread all over you, and hopefully you will feel just a little bit of God's love for you. And all of the things that we pray for, and not only that, but you are going to have God's blessing on your head, so that it goes into your... Pray. Okay? So in, in one minute we're going to do the prayer. We're all going to stand up. We're going to do the prayer. And we're going to bless the water. And then Father Chris and I are going to enter the front. I'm going to spray uh, all of you with the water very quickly like this. Okay? Like I almost did now. A little bit better. And then we're going to receive communion. So we are starting our school year with God's blessing that we can feel the holy water. Okay? So we're very lucky. Let me explain one thing. We're very lucky in Orthodox in our church. Because we understand that we are people that need to feel things. And we need to see things and hear things. And we taste things. We have our senses. And so when we pray into the water, God, fill this water with your grace. And then we feel it. Much more of our understanding. We can understand that something has happened. And now, what is the thing that's going to happen when the water touches you? You are? Blast. Good. All right, please rise.